It's not going to unfortunately go underneath the door, but you want it as close as possible. You better get him to stop so we can open the doors. We've just had a container, a 40 foot high cube container arrived from China. This one's been delayed in shipping because of the closure of the Suez Canal. So it's had to go a long way around to get here. We were expecting this about three weeks earlier, but it's, it's only just arrived. And that's one that um, Steve checked at the factory in October. He spent a whole two weeks going through quality checking them with care, using the new BIOS equipment as well, which is electronic equipment for testing the tuning and intonation. Incredible seeing it come out of the container, how much he did check. That was very big. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the good thing about the checking is all I have to do is the checking. I don't have to unpack it, take it out of the case, then check it and then pack it back up. It's literally put on my bench and I check it. If there's a problem with it, I just say, and they take it away and sort it. So it's not that, it's not that bad really. That's over 400 instruments and that container's just, just come off. It's, it's, it's a lot. Well done because I was there before Steve and I only checked a 20 foot container. So he did double the work of me. I went to the factory a few days before Christmas, spent a few days checking there. Then I went to spend Christmas and New Year with my family, my wife and son, in southern China. Going down on the train, an incredible 10-hour journey on the, on the train, going right across China. And I came back at the beginning of January and spent another 10 days checking at the factory. And that'll be another 40 foot high cube, the same as this one that's just arrived, which will be arriving probably late March, April now. Probably about 30% are already spoken for of the, of the instruments that have come in. Steve's got a lot of work to, to get all this stuff out. Yeah, it's a bit manic. We just had the delivery and uh, just trying to get all the orders out. I'm off to Washington on Monday. Yes, Jen gets to go with me, isn't she a lucky girl? So I really wanted to try and get the uh, backlog cleared up before I left, because I don't want to leave everything for poor old Conrad. It's just a bit manic because there's a, a lot of stuff around and not a lot of room to actually do much at the moment. But once we start clearing a few things, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. What's your, the thing you're looking forward to the most? I'm laying. And because I don't have to get up at uh, 5.45 in the morning to come to work, Well, it's quite exciting. We've got a new rotary valve euphonium, five valve. So the fifth valve is to allow for good intonation in the low register. And this is a sort of German style one. And it's got a beautiful tone, particularly in the high register. It really sings nicely. And one that I particularly like is a new cavalry style E-flat tuba with three valves on the front and one on the side. And that's absolutely plays incredible. It's even more free blowing than the ones with top action valves somehow the valves on the front seem to open up the low register so that is a really successful instrument and we'll be showing that that at the US Army Tuba Conference in Washington in a few days time.
Well, today I've helped unload the container that's just arrived at Wessex Tubers and a lot of the instruments on the container have already been pre-ordered or they're getting ready to go off to their final destinations and to new owners. So I'm just making sure that all of the tubers that are coming in both have been finished beautifully but also play nice and well in tune. We're checking the tuning, we're checking the pitch and checking to make sure that there are no final last minute uh, adjustments that need making before they all go off to their new homes. So I've checked an Anton and a Marla so far. Both C tubers and both have been finished very nicely. The Marla's in lacquer and the Anton's in silver plate. Uh, the finish on both instruments was really good and both instruments played really nicely across their registers as well. After a fairly slow start in January, work's beginning to pick up as a freelance tuba player again and also the brass band that I conduct are preparing for yet another competition, it's the area competitions. London Southern Counties in Stevenage in March, so there's always plenty going on. Thanks so much for watching, do subscribe to hear more news from Wessex and we hope to see you at one of our exhibits. Okay, I gotta say, Andy and Pete, A plus. Everybody else, that was way too late. Go back and hide again. You need a chance what to do.